What's up YouTube? This is John from Liquid House. Welcome to 2018. There's going to be a lot of bit different things going on for this year in terms of how my channel goes. Uh, I'm going to start filming a little bit like vlog style but mix in with some tech. During Christmas break I was actually watching a lot of YouTube and getting really inspired by a lot of the YouTubers out there. And mainly I was inspired by the guys who spend so much time and detail going into making their videos as cinematic and as professional looking as possible. That's the stuff that gets me going the most. I love this videography stuff. I love the cinematography stuff. And I went to school, you know, back in 08 to do videography, but I chickened out and I quit the classes that I was in. And I really want to pursue that again, more so than just tech. But my channel is still going to be tech, but I'm going to be approaching it from like a cinematic standpoint. So all my videos are going to be a little bit different style than they were in the past. And I'm really going to try to up my game for this year. So today's video is actually going to be pretty exciting for myself. I'm actually getting the Canon SL2, which is super exciting for me because right now I have the Canon SL1. And the best thing about it is that the camera does uh, 60 frames per second at 1080p. Right now, the SL1 that I have only does 30 frames at 1080 which really sucks for some of the smooth b-roll that I like to get. It's just I can't really slow it down in the least bit, otherwise it gets choppy. The other thing I'm actually really excited about is that the new SL2 has a flip out view screen so I can see what the camera sees. Right now I have no idea what the camera's seeing. I just kind of stage my stuff up, make sure it's in focus, and really go from there. Because the lenses that I have were actually work better with manual focus and autofocus. So I am sometimes limited with the shots that I want to do because the lenses that I have are mainly photography. They're not really made for videography style shots. And so because of that, I always normally shoot in manual. So I'm really excited to get this thing going. I actually want to start a little vlog today. This is my first like vlog of going to go get the camera, but I'm pretty nervous about it mainly because I just really haven't done it before. But I want to approach it from a cinematic sense. So it's going to be more than just me going about my day, you know, from the camera's perspective. I want to throw in other shots. I want to throw in some B-roll and maybe some slow motion, some, some cinematic stuff that actually gets you immersed in what my day is consisting of in, in regards to getting this camera. So I'm really excited, a little nervous. The camera shop I'm going to go to that has the body, uh, I don't know if they even allow filming. I'm just going to go in there and see what happens. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. Hi, um, I see on your website that you have one more of the Canon SL2 body only, and I was wondering if you guys still had that. Yes, we do still have that. Awesome. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, bye-bye. Woo! All right, camera stores got in stock. Uh, <laughs> I was actually pretty nerve-wracked about that because everywhere I looked locally was all sold out. They must have sold like hotcakes during the holidays, but... Uh, the, the cool thing about this is what I actually wanted the body only. I didn't need the kit lens. I don't ever use it. I don't need to spend the extra money for that. So luckily this camera store had the body only, but the website only showed one left in stock. And so I had to give them a call. But man, I'm glad they have it. So let's go get it. So the pups need treats before I leave. So here you go, wheelers. Here you go, Lola. Oh, that's kind of sad. Kind of sad. They're very cute pups though. Oh, he's so precious. Okay, let's do this. Some may not like it, but one of my favorite things about this apartment is bam. out. 
it's actually the first warm day we've had in Utah for I don't know how long but normally it's unbearably cold all the time during the winter but I think this is a great sign getting the new camera on the first warm day of 2018 I think it's just even more representative of things looking up for 2018 and I'm really excited about this it's actually getting a little too hot that I might have to roll the windows down which is the first in I don't know maybe two three months With the nice weather upon us, let's go get this camera. All right, we are here. We're gonna go in here, it's a store called Picture Lines. Really cool store, it's huge. There's a few more things I actually wanna look at and get, possibly for the studio I'm trying to set up correctly. Um, but yeah, I'll get the SL2 and we'll be good. I am excited. Excited would be an understatement, I believe. This thing is awesome. I have a battery grip on mine, but uh, there's a company named Velo. They made a battery grip for the SL1, and I'm hoping that they'll make a battery grip for the SL2, but the fact that I have to go back to no battery grip, it's exciting, it's, it's weird. Uh, it'll be nice to have something compact again because the battery grip does add a lot of uh, weight and, and size to it, but it does also include, you know, versatility in terms of getting your shots and stuff like that. But I am super excited about this thing. So let's go home and we'll take a look at it. All right, guys, we're here and I got the camera. Uh, I was a little confused at first because they apparently Canon boxes up cameras without any, you know, kind of like seal tape, you know, tamper proof uh, seals and stuff like that. But uh, that's whatever, it's fine. It's no big deal. Just super excited about getting this thing. Now. Now the first thing I'm gonna have to do is charge these batteries because I wanna get this thing up and running as soon as possible. But look at this thing, it's absolutely tiny. And I, I, I forget, you know, I said this earlier, but I, I forget how small these things are without the battery grip. And it'll be nice to have this really compact size for a while because when I got the SL1, they already had a battery grip right off the bat and so I bought that almost the same time as I bought the camera and so I went from you know super old camera to the SL1 with a battery grip almost right off the bat and so I, I dealt with the tiny size of the SL1 for just maybe a day or two but the battery grip went on and I just had that this entire time so having this really small size camera is going to be really nice to be getting a little bit more action-y shots if you will uh this will help me take it places more often because that was the whole idea of getting the sl1 is i could take that camera anywhere it was so compact and then the battery grip situation happened so anyways and the best part boom i can actually see myself when i'm recording it so that's going to be the greatest thing ever it's actually shaped a little bit nicer than the SL1 is in terms of actual grip on the right hand side for when you're taking photos. It looks like they left the mic and remote ports on the left side, but they took over the HDMI and USB ports to the right side because before they were on the left. Um, really cool camera. I'm really excited to get this thing going. I know it's not the craziest thing ever. It, you know, by all means, it's essentially a startup camera, but it's pretty much how I've gotten every shot. You just gotta work at it. The way that I that I do my photography and my videography is I don't really have any zoom lenses. And because of that, it makes me work for the shot. And one of my favorite lenses is the one I'm using right now is the 30 mil. And on a crop sensor, which is a 1.6, essentially the 30 is a 48 compared to a full frame. But when you see a photo and you want, you. You, you see it as you're walking around you're like, oh man, that'd be a really cool shot. Instantly just hold up your camera and then the camera would see in the exact same perspective as what you're seeing. It's not too wide, it's not too tight. 
and you just literally hold up the camera and take a shot. And that's one of my favorite things about the 30 mil. And because of that, you don't find an, a subject that you want to photograph and you know see it from afar. Like, oh, that'd be a really cool photo. I'm just going to zoom into it and just take the photo. Well, sure, but because you didn't make the distance over there, you didn't take the photo you know, up close and personal, you just got it from afar, sure, it'd be a probably a good shot, but the memory of you taking that photo or doing that video is is lost. You know, you can essentially be driving on the road, see a really cool scene, and boom, take it with a zoomed in lens, or you can, you know, park the car, pull over to the side of the road, get out, stage a photo, you know, walk around on the side of the road and make sure you, you angle that shot out or that video shot out. And when you look back at it a couple years from then, you'll remember exactly what had happened when you took it or when you took that video. So I really like to use fixed focal length lenses. They're my favorite and you get way lower aperture as compared to a zoom lens. And also they're probably half the price. Lenses also retain their value immensely. So you could essentially go and buy a used lens off of eBay or something like that that has been meticulously cared for because the people who are owning those lenses know exactly how much they're worth and how important they are. Because you can essentially start out with a basic entry level Rebel, even though this has as good of stats as a T7i, if not better in some instances, and get some good glass. And you can go and take beautiful shots or you know, do immense video footage that you wouldn't normally think to assume that, oh, that's just an entry level camera. So in the future, my videos are gonna be hopefully a lot better than what they are right now. That about wraps it up for the vlog. I hope you guys really liked the, the footage that I did. This is my first real time doing everything that I did, but in video mode. Normally, I'm just always have my camera with me. I'm taking photos, but this is the first real time I said, you know what, let's hit record. Let's pretty much map out my day and see where it goes in terms of vlog. So if you guys like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and there will be more to come in 2018. All right, see you guys.